staggered stud. What is a staggered stud? Very simply, we could do a wider plate. You could do a two by six plate here. When I do them, I typically do a two by eight plate. Okay. And we basically do two by fours, 24 inches on center, and interior two by fours, 24 inches on center. And you can see we have continuity of insulation through here. So we don't have any thermal bridging. We have a continuous top and bottom plate, yep, we have but some the studs there. are not. We have some there. Yep. Um, you know, down here, it's very similar to the walls that we just looked at. Um, we just have simple sheathing on the outside because we're putting the performance, we're relying on it on that double stud wall. Yep. So we're not putting it on the outside. And then for the double stud wall, all we're doing is we're basically putting a break in the wall there and splitting it. And the beauty of the double stud wall that I really like, especially when you're doing passive houses, right? This can start out at nine inches, but it could go to 16 if we wanted. Wow. Right? So you have the ability to just move that outside wall in and out mm -hmm. and uh, take this and move it. So that way there, you can really tune it to what we need for the requirements of passive house. If nine inches doesn't make it, let's bump it to 10 and see if we can do that. Makes a lot and of then sense. it solves for it. This one here, you're kind of locked into either a two by six or a two by eight. I mean, you could probably do two by 10, but before I did two by 10, I'd go over and do that one. As a bit of a confession here, I've never built one of these assemblies for an exterior wall, but we have done a lot of staggered studs on interior walls for sound reasons. Like yeah. uh, on the house that Steve designed for us, the Reisinger build, Steve put staggered stud walls in several places, like between the primary bedroom and the hallway, so that we could have some reduction in sound transmission. So it is becoming more common to see these, but these exterior walls, at least in the south, I don't see a whole lot. This tends to be a more northern detail. Yeah, and there there are other places. I met with a builder, um, you probably know Shane out in California. Mm -hmm. He builds literally right under a flight line. Oh, wow. And so, all of his exterior walls are double wall because of the acoustical properties of that wall system. So makes a lot of sense. It uh, it's a great point that you brought up that not all performance is totally based on energy. It can be acoustics and uh, comfort due to sound.